Hello everyone, today's video content is Analysis of the Real Questions of the HPE6, A72 Exam, and Explanation of Relevant Knowledge Points. The following test questions are all from our question bank, and they were updated on October 17, 2024. Study Guide Question 1. Which protocol and port number must be allowed through a firewall for an AOS CX switch to act as an SNMP agent? The knowledge points of this question are SNMP use UDP port 161 for network management. SNMP is used to monitor and manage network devices like switches and routers. It works on UDP port 161, which needs to be open on firewalls so the SMMP can receive commands from network management tools. So the correct answer is, SNMP uses UDP port 161 to send and receive management data. It's the main port that allows network management systems to talk to devices like switches and routers. Question 2. What is the purpose of deep packet inspection? The knowledge points of this question are DPI inspects network traffic up to layer 7 of the OSI model. DPI checks the actual content of data packets, not just the headers. It can look deep into the packet to see what's really inside, helping to block harmful traffic like malware, making your network more secure. So, the correct answer is DPI goes beyond basic packet inspection and checks everything inside a packet, including the data at the application layer. This helps to detect threats and unwanted traffic. Question 3. What additional security feature does SNMP v3 offer compared to SNMP2? The knowledge points of this question are SNMP v3 adds authentication and encryption. SNMP v3 is more secure than older versions because adds authentication and encryption. This makes sure that only authorized people can manage devices and that no one can intercept sensitive information. So the correct answer is SNMP v3 improves security by adding two things, authentication and encryption. Question 4. In which command provides detailed information about both the active and secondary images on an AOS CX switch? The knowledge points of this question are. The command show images shows both active and backup images on a switch. The show images command shows both the running software and the backup version on the switch. This helps you know what's running now and what's available as a backup in case of an issue. So, the correct answer is The show images command lets you see both the active and backup software images running on your switch. So you know what's currently installed and what's available as a fallback. Question 5. Which switches support the Aruba VSX feature? The knowledge points of this question are Aruba 8400 and 6405 switches support VSX. VSX allows two switches to work together as one, giving you redundancy. If one switch fails, the other takes over, so your network keeps running. Aruba 8400 and 6405 switches support this feature, making them great for high availability environments. So, the correct answers are The Aruba 8400 and 6000 
405 switches support VSX, which is a feature that keeps your network running by allowing two switches to act as one. So if one fails, the other takes over. Question six. How is a wide area network best defined? The knowledge points of this question are, WAN spans across multiple geographic locations. A WAN connects networks across large distances, like between cities or countries. It lets businesses share data and communicate between different locations, even if they're far apart. So, the correct answer is, a WAN is a network that covers a large geographical area, like connecting offices in different cities or countries. Question seven. What two features are supported by Aruba NetEdit? The knowledge points of this question are, NetEdit supports configuration validation and editing across multiple devices. NetEdit is a tool that helps you configure and manage multiple devices at once. It checks the configuration for errors before applying it to make sure everything is set up correctly and consistently across all devices. So, the correct answers are Aruba NetEdit can validate the configuration of multiple devices to make sure they're all correct and it lets you apply changes to many devices at once. Question eight. Which two characteristics describe the 802.11 AX wireless standard? The knowledge points of this question are, Wi-Fi 6 operates in both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz and supports IoT devices. Wi-Fi 6 is the latest wireless standard. It works on both 2.4, GTS and 5, GTS offering better speeds and supporting more devices, including IoT gadgets. It's designed to handle a lot of devices at the same time without slowing down. So, the correct answers are. Wi-Fi 6 works on both 2.4, GTS and 5, GTS spans, making it compatible with older devices and better for new IoT devices. Question nine. Which two mechanisms are used for multi-active detection in a OS CX 6300 switches? The knowledge points of this question are, a RP-based and KeyPolyv-based detection mechanisms are used. Multi-active detection in VSX setups ensures only one switch is active at a time. It uses ARP and key polyv to detect problems and prevent both switches from going active at the same time, which would cause conflicts. So, the correct answers are AOS CX 6300 switches use ARP and KPOLIV mechanisms to detect if both switches in a VSX setup become active. These tools prevent conflicts by making sure only one switch is active. Question 10. What is an advantage of routing at the aggregation layer in a three-tier network design? The knowledge points of this question are, Routing at the aggregation layer improves core switch performance. In a three-tier network, doing routing at the aggregation layer helps take some load off the core switches, letting them focus on high-speed data forwarding. It also simplifies the setup in the access layer, making everything run smoother. So, the correct answer is, By handling routing at the aggregation layer, you take the load off the core switches, letting them focus on high-speed data forwarding, which improves overall network performance. If you have any questions about the HPE6 AS72 exam, please leave a message in the comment area or contact us directly. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.